आई एम बैक विद अदर न्यू वीडियो सो आई एम अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो आफ्टर ए वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम सॉरी गाइज फॉर अपलोडिंग अ लेट वीडियो बट स्टूडेंट टॉपिक विल बी रेली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यूजफुल फॉर योर इंटरव्यू एंड मेनी ऑफ यू नो दिस टॉपिक दैट इज बोर्ड कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस प्रिंसिपल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इफ दिस बोर्ड कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस प्रिंसिपल इज वेलिड फॉर अ पार्टिकल इन वन डी बॉक्स ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग माइस टाइम लेट्स जाम इन टू दीडियो so board correspondence principle states that when a system is in a high excited state that means when your principal quantum number n it is very large so n is very large then your quantum mechanics so your quantum mechanics so quantum mechanics merges with classical mechanics so classical mechanics that means your calculation from quantum mechanics will give you same result as that of the classical mechanics for a very large value of this principal quantum number n okay so now if you apply this principle to hydrogen atom uh, you can easily check that this principle will uh, hold good let's check how so you know for hydrogen atom the energy is like minus 13.6 by n square right so energy is inversely proportional to the square root uh, square of principal quantum number now if you take the energy difference between two corresponding levels say it is n plus 1 and n then your daily becomes so minus 13.6 by n plus 1 One is whole square minus thirteen point six by a square, right? Now, if you take the limit for a n tends to infinite, that is your quantum principal quantum number going to a very large value, then your daily will tends to zero. You put this in this equation, you will suddenly find that daily becomes zero. That means the energy gap between the consecutive energy levels vanishes. So that leads to energy continuum. that means there are no energy gap between the certain energy levels let's say there are energy level this way if this gap is zero so this level and this level will merge together okay so that means the that will form energy continuum so in classical mechanics we talk about continuum continuum in energy levels and in quantum mechanics we talk about discreteness of the energy level so as you can see that if our n tends to infinite this daily becomes zero that means energy uh, going to the continuum limits so this uh, well agrees with the bohr's correspondence principle now let's check uh, if this principle is valid for the free particle or you can also check a particle in a box not free particle let us say a particle in a box of length 0 to l so this particle is free inside the box so potential is in infinite here so if you calculate then you can find that the energy we really like this so n square pi square h cap square by 2n l square so here as you can see e is proportional to n square now check del e so del e is the energy difference between n plus 1 state and n th state okay so if you put in this equation then your pi square h cap square by 2m l square will be common then in the bracket it will be n plus 1 and whole square minus n square okay now now let us simplify so if you simply simplify this you can easily find that del e equal to pi square h cut square divided by 2m into l square here it will be if you simplify this thing you can certainly find out that this will be 2n plus 1 so what happens when an becomes very large now check so if an tends to infinite so if you put this in the situation del e for an tends to infinite you can check that this daily will diverge so it will diverge or it will become infinite so for satisfying bohr correspondence principle this daily is becoming divergent And it is becoming infinite. So daily is not zero. 
So that means energy continuum we cannot achieve. But uh, it is not the case actually. So how to check that? So still this system uh, satisfies the Bohr correspondence principle. We will check by by taking del E by E. So if you calculate now del E by E, so your E was n square pi square h square square by 2ml square. Now if you calculate del E by E, then you will find, find that it will be, so this portion will be cancelled out, so it will be 2n plus 1 by n square. So if you simplify it more, then it will be 2 by n plus 1 by n square. Okay, so now if you take the limit n tends to infinite for del E by E, then it, it will become 2 by infinite plus 1 by infinite, so that means 0. So the magical thing happens, so it states that the proportional change in energy from the, in, from the uh, certain energy level, so the change in energy level for n plus 1 from n, is becoming zero. That means for high value of n, high value of n, if there is energy level E n and there is energy level E n plus 1, this is del E by E, so change of energy with respect to the initial energy level is becoming zero. That means this gap will be zero. So this is uh, trying to reconcile the Bohr's correspondence principle. You can also visualize this principle by another way. Let's we take this Bohr's correspondence principle with the, from another angle. Okay. Now you know that the for a particle in a 1D box, you know that the wave function is like this, root over 2 by n sine of n pi x by n. Now if you want to calculate the probability density, that is mod psi x square, let's say for n equal to 1, then it, you will certainly find out that this will be like this. So to find the particle at the middle of the box will be maximum, right? Now if you take the second excited state, sorry, first excited state, so this is for the ground state. Now for first excited state, so this probability will be like this. So at the middle of the box, to find the particle, the probability is zero. So now, now if you go for higher and higher order of n values, then you can uh, certainly find out, uh, let's say, for n equal to 20. So for n equal to 20, so your probability density will be like this. So there will be 20 bits. So it will be, uh, there will be 20 bits. So I, I can draw here. So you can see, as you uh, taking the higher value of n, the probability density of, or the probability of uh, finding the particle in the box, almost same throughout the length of the box. Okay. So almost the probability of finding the particle inside the box anywhere will be almost constant. And classically, classically also this probability of finding the particle in the box will be constant throughout its length. Okay, let's say if the particle is uh, uh, moving with a velocity v, then uh, moving a, after moving a distance x, or you can say the probability uh, or the time taken by the particle to move from x to x plus x will be t equal to x by v. So this time is constant for moving a distance from x to x plus x. So that means your probability of finding the particle classically anywhere in the box will be constant. So now as you can see for higher value of n, quantum mechanically, mechanically this probability will also be like this. Okay? For higher value of n. So for higher value of n, this will be more and more closely spaced. That means the average of this uh, finding the particle in the box will merge with the classical value. So that means here for n tends to infinite, quantum mechanical results are agreeing well with the classical mechanical value. So if someone asks you, does Bohr's correspondence principle uh, is violated for the particle in a 1D box, you will simply say no, it is still preserved in that case. So you need to think in this angle, otherwise if you take that if daily from uh, formula of E, you will find out that daily diverges for n tends to infinite. But if you take daily by E, 
then you will find that daily by E for N tends to infinite it is zero. That means the change in energy with respect to initial energy is becoming zero. So that leads to energy continuum. So that's where quantum and classical mechanics uh, converges with each other, right? Or you can also explain this way. So actually this question I have been asked to me in IAC SSCO department. So that's why I thought I should uh, share these things. At that time I, wa I wasn't able to explain these things. So this is a very important topic. I hope you have uh, got some thoughts, some concept from this. And if you like this video, if you found this video informative, then please like this video and comment section are always open. You can uh, leave your comment there. What do you feel about this? And most importantly, subscribe to my channel so that whenever I am going to upload new videos, you will be notified first. So thank you. I will be back with another new important videos. Till then, bye-bye.